Hello guys. So here I have two <coughs> headphone or headset uh, pairs. One is called a uh, so where is it? Ah, here. That one is called Habit, and the other is no name, no brand. Probably cheap China. I don't know brand. Um, uh, headphones so or air air plugs how they are called now at the moment so for this one <coughs> there was uh, these these uh, micro um, microchips and the, the the modules are for the cheap ones and for have it there is this one and this other the one thing is that um, for this one the battery was bad uh, this, this this battery which is covered with this uh, tape it's good but this one it's quite bad there is no like actual charge in this battery and I cannot charge it furthermore because because it doesn't mm, like doesn't allow me to charge I ordered a replacement batteries from the China but the problem was they came they came quite small in in uh, in AliExpress, you cannot even tell the scale. Uh, well, they are really really small, smaller than the original ones. But I think maybe I can give a give it a shot and try to like replace the batteries. Well, um, uh, for that I have to find out which one is the positive and the negative lead, and basically to solder not to directly to these wires but to, the, to this little PCB this is a protection PCB which guarantee to not overcharge or over discharge the battery uh, it's still an additional feature maybe there is also a charging IC inside which also regulates the current and the voltage but, uh, during the charging process but I'm not sure no, no I'm not sure in this case where these batteries was originally inside there is uh, okay I, I i i took took out the battery because this battery also was originally there was this battery but it was like puffed it was like um like a pillow you know like really bulky i guess it's because it, it went wrong it went uh, bad and then it was like puffing up so um just trying to find something yeah. okay so when I open this thing up here I can I can try to open it up yeah like that okay okay so here is an extra metals uh, non-magnetic except for these these are magnet magnets and this also is a magnet to keep this lid closed see it's like maybe these are also magnets but this is not the magnetic tweezers so and um, this is for holding the the airplugs in in the, in the in the place basically so yeah and uh, this battery goes over here but I need to glue it over there so there is um, kind of voltage regulator I guess it pumps out the 5 volts for each um, each pair of head uh, of airplugs basically it provides 5 volts and there's a little button which shows the um, the status of this battery so this is basically for uh, charging well like a small power bank to your earplugs to charge it when it's away I guess you all know this stuff this is nothing new okay yeah so my my idea was to just replace these small to replace the small batteries and to try it on whether it's working or not so in this case I believe maybe 
one of these are the charging ICs over here. So I'm not so sure, but it should be because five volts also uh, here is written right, right here. There is written five volt. So basically, it means that it's able to take five volts in and provide 4.2, 4.3 maximum for lithium cell to, to be charged. And here is 3.7 volts. <coughs> okay, so I will change this to the smaller batteries and see how it will go. So at the moment I'm here uh, well at my soldering desk and I wanted to see which one is the positive and which one is the negative side of these batteries. So basically as you can as you can see there's a two leads over here, but there's no markings at all nothing so I have to like manually probe these batteries and to see which one is the positive and which one is the negative side so in this multimeter this one is the positive and this one is the negative and if you like accidentally swap it over it just show you a negative value it means that you, you your polarity is in reverse so and when I plug the when I test the leads so it's kind of slow but as you can see, I get it right. So, um, yeah, it's hard to show into the camera. So yeah, this one is the positive and this one is the negative. And as you can see, it's already showing me 4.11 volts. That's great. It means fully charged. I would say overcharged, but okay. And let's just see whether for this one is the same or different. Yeah, the polarity is right. Also, positive, negative. So for both cells, they are correct in, in, in both positions. So the positive and the negative. Okay, now I will try to um, unsolder these old ones and replace these ones also, yeah. So, and I hook, hooked up this, um, this small module with this... Uh, uh, holder I have it here so and and I will try to gently unsolder this these two wires uh, these two leads from this little PCB and you notice that there's a red and a black wire so the red is connect directly connected to the to the cell and the black goes through some circuitry so okay my soldering iron is on and I will try to gently do that Okay, a little bit flux okay so first I will try to heat it up over here okay and the wire jumped off that's okay and now I will do this for the okay oh okay For this, this so small PCB, it's hard to just simply solder it in a place. Okay, it's done. So now I have to like do the same, but in reverse, I have to solder back the new cell. And I kind of think I will go like that. Hope it's going to work. Okay. Okay, now I will try to also solder this wire back because without it it will not gonna work okay so let's do it oh yeah that's great although these fluxes here says that this is no clean flux right i prefer to better clean it otherwise the schmutz will go on so uh, some corrosion or, or some bad stuff can happen so better to clean it if you can just clean it nothing hard will happen from cleaning right okay 
So this one is, is done. Let's do the second. So I I took off this, um, I peel off this um, um, tape, which is which has a special name. It, it's called a um, well, it's heat resistive, and it has this special name. I forgot. Oh, geez, it's um, okay. When I will remember, I will tell you. But now I forgot. <clears throat> It's Captain tape, right? It's Captain tape, yeah. It's 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 in yellow and it's heat resistive, so that's why it's good and used in so many in electronics. So, yeah. And now I will try to do the same as I did before. I will apply a little bit of flux, just be sure we have a good good contact. So yeah, and for this battery, it's good actually. It's still good, but I rather have the same value. Of capacity in both uh, air plugs than different so one will discharge quick quicker than other so that's why I prefer to have both both in same okay he jumped off of this clip is there any better way to hold this so do you know any other great way how to hold this small PCB like this Oh man, I don't know. I haven't researched anything at this point, so maybe there is some better options out there. Okay, the battery is off, but this is a good one, so I will keep that. It's better to keep it charged, charged, right? So, and then maybe uh, it will be useful for some other stuff, some other projects, right? Okay, I prepared the second cell, and these I got really cheap from the from the AliExpress. But the problem with the AliExpress is that they don't want to send the lithium cells uh, just like that. So I ordered three pairs of lit lit lithium cell batteries, and they provided me with a poor feedback. Like there is no tracking information, and there was no like. Mm, I couldn't see where the, the the what's happening to the item, so basically from the three pairs I just received one, which is upsetting. I thought maybe I can fix both of these hair hair plugs, but uh, no. Okay, I will try to hold it in my hand just like that. Okay, so the positive goes over here, just a little bit higher, like that. And this will go to the side for the negative lead. And it seems that the positive is okay. And the negative lead is also okay. Yeah. Okay, let's clean it. Let's clean this up. Lithium cells are very fragile also. Do not touch the leads together. So, now it would be a good idea to just put, push these little cells back into the case. Like that. Okay. not gonna go like that okay and it broke off it's bad Seems that the other side is not so. Um, it's not prepared to be soldered, so I have to just do it like that, with one side. No, it's not a good way how to solder these. 
okay so always make sure the contact is good and now I want to bend it just a little but do not touch anything together okay I hope this is good let's put it together and let's put it back in the case okay this one got so far so good and talking about this one it's like that okay like that ah could stay like that that sideways hmm. no it will not gonna fit okay okay doesn't fit like that and the bending also should be very very careful because otherwise you can easily break off the leads of these small okay now it seems like it will go yeah okay let's put it back in the case and see whether it charges so I will plug in this charger as you can see it starts to charge this um, oh, okay can I put it somehow ah yeah I know I remember why I put it out because I cannot it fit like that that this battery will allow me to put this case back so it, it's kind of blocks maybe I can turn it like that maybe it's possible I don't know maybe like this oh yeah no it doesn't fit like that okay okay for now for now I will do it as as, as it was before I will take the, this battery out to just test whether it's charging or it doesn't so okay 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 let's open it up and I will place the but the 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 this small. Okay, this one is charging, and this other is also charging. So what do you say about this? Okay, the one is already full. I hope that means it's it's charged fully. Blinking red and and blue maybe has some different meaning okay the battery replacement was successful but I don't know further I, I, I cannot test it yet so I will hook hooked it up with the phone and I will see how it how it will goes so far it looks good do you have experience with these so is it good is it bad or I don't I don't know it, it, it the the brand it's 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 it sounds good but uh nothing more i can tell about this one i don't know how these are so if you have experience just let me know is it worse to save these or maybe the cheap china brands are better <laughs> probably don't probably they aren't so but i don't know okay so thank you for watching and see you next time